Hi everyone, how are you today? Do you still have hip pain? It's not a problem, as long as your eyes and ears can still function properly. But most importantly, your mind and heart must remain sharp. Okay, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Venice International Film Festival is the oldest film festival in the world, and one of the big three film festivals, alongside the Cannes Film Festival and Berlin International Film Festival. This is the logo in 2018, a woman hiding one eye with a globe. The event was attended by the world's biggest stars and movie directors. And Lady Gaga was all over the place. Here, she poses for pictures while overlooked by the one-eyed logo, symbolically telling us that this is owned by the occult elite. Paul McCartney's 2018 album has reached number one in the US. In the GQ magazine article about him, he hides one eye with a bewildered look on his face. He has to do this, to be part of the entertainment industry. Brita Orr is doing her best to stay in the entertainment industry, and she has to do these one-eye picks to keep getting work. Boston Matthews is quickly becoming one of the biggest superstars in the National Hockey League, which lead him to be featured in GQ magazine. The article is entitled, NHL star Austin Matthews is ready for his close-up, an expression that is very Hollywood. As you can see, the close-up is actually on the one-eye sign. Here's another pic from the same photo shoot. They want you to take notice. And a third one. In short, this photo shoot, which features a 24-year-old hokey superstar, sends out a clear message. If he's influential, we'll get to him. James Harden is a superstar in the NBA. That is the picture we saw everywhere during the NBA Media Day in 2018. The elite is telling you that they own this. From hockey to basketball, we move on to soccer. This is Kevin De Bruyne promoting a new shoe. By putting it on his face and hiding one eye with it. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. As usual, the one eye sign was prominently featured on the cover of magazines all over the world. The goal. Total visibility, complete control. Ai Gerber is quickly becoming a fashion superstar. Here she is on the cover of Vogue Paris with makeup on only one side, effectively creating a subtle one-eye sign. So creative. Meanwhile, Kaya's mother, supermodel Cindy Crawford, was featured on the cover of Vogue Spain. Her hair is strategically hiding one eye. So creative. Speaking of hair strategically placed, this is Lil Wayne on the cover of Billboard. So creative. This is the cover of Gay Times, featuring YouTube star Patrick Stair. Do YouTube stars need to be owned by the elite? You betcha. This is the cover of RT, an art review magazine. Yes, they used creepy wood enhanced to hide one eye of the creepy mask. How can people not see the pattern going on here? RT is owned by Cairo Editor E. Their logo. An all-seeing eye. French writer, Edward Lewis and Le Monde. His opinion writing is right in line with the elite's agenda. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands was featured on the cover of Vanity Fair, calling her the most popular queen of Europe. A strain of hair strategically placed over one eye, lets you know that, despite being a queen, she subject him to them. This is the cover of Stylist, with the classic one eye, replaced by a fake eye bit. This is the cover of First Class Magazine. Can somebody tell this girl that's not how you wear a brooch? She seems to need help. But, wait, maybe it was not meant to be a sign of the elite, but a fun quirky one-time thing. 
O oh Lord. As seen in my previous videos about K-pop, this genre is full of occult elite symbolism. Here's NCT's Lucas, hiding one eye in Dazed magazine. The group BTS is exploding in the US, and their latest single features Nicki Minaj. And their music is full of symbolism. This is Jimin hiding one eye while showcasing a butterfly temporary tattoo. That's Jungkook from BTS. They keep doing it all the time. Model Anna Mila Guyans on the cover of Harper's Bazaar Spain, hiding one eye for absolutely no reason. Vogue India with a clever one eye thing. So clever. This is the cover of Exhibit Magazine. The main thing being exhibited here is, a big fat one eye sign by Bollywood star Akshay Kumar. They really love to use all kinds of ridiculous objects to hide one eye. Taylor Swift hiding one eye. That is all. Rihanna with one eye hidden on the cover of Allure. So obvious, yet not many see it. Everybody loves Idris Elba. He's so cool and charming. Until he hides one eye with a plant, because he must show his submission to the occult elite. This is getting ridiculous though. I mean, what's next? Hiding one eye with a cello. The official website of the Oregon Symphony Orchestra features this guy, hiding his eye with a cello. Dude, just put that thing down and stop it. Just, stop, it. Some viewers asked me if elite symbolism exists in the Arab world. The answer is, of course. This is Lebanese Egyptian singer and actress Haifa Webby hiding one eye. Her again hiding one eye with skull and bones. The subtle one eye sign using shadows. Spotted at a Disney store, Ariel hiding one eye on a backpack. Why Ariel, why? This is an ad for a shopping mall in Canada. Why random model, why? This is an ad for a casino. At the top, it says, when they don't know who they're playing with. Indeed, most people doing that sign don't know the true nature of the occult elite they're playing with. They want you to see that sign, even when you open up your fridge to grab some cucumbers. The Joel McHale show on Netflix. Yes, one eye again. Some might say. But wait, relax bro, and take off your tinfoil hat. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. I personally find it very fun. Nobody is having fun. This is a symbol pushed to an extreme measure, to prove the hegemonic nature of mass media. Bella Thorne hiding one eye with a hand on which is an eye, while a third eye is on her forehead. That's like a triple confirmation. Thorne's look is nearly similar to Kesha's one-eye tattoo she often flaunted, before it was revealed she was, for years, an industry slave. Is Thorne following in Kesha's footsteps? This is the cover album of Alice in Chains. It prominently features an eye inside a triangle, the main symbol of the occult elite. Although there might be a deeper interpretation associated with this album art, in the end, their symbolism still needs ends up everywhere. The software company Adobe, mostly known for Photoshop, launched Max, a massive conference featuring celebrities and all kinds of events. This is the main image promoting it. Being creative now means regurgitating the same symbolism, with slightly different colors. Happening at the exact same time, as the event 29 Rooms, organized by the women's magazine 29 Refinery. The magazine is mainly funded by Turner Broadcasting Systems which own CNN, Adult Swim, and many other mass media channels. Everything about this event is full on a cult elite agenda. One of the rooms features a checkerboard pattern floor and an all-seeing eye. It is difficult not to see the Masonic influence in there. This is a Masonic etching, featuring the ritualistic checkerboard pattern floor overlooked by the all-seeing eye. Of course, the event features a bunch of trendy people hiding one eye. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.